And um, they were saying how she was very wealthy and, you know, that dress was probably, you know, a couple hundred dollars and she couldn't afford some decent shapewear. And they were like, it looks like two pigs fighting under a blanket. <laughs> beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So I wanted to take a look first at an update on Anna O'Brien. She's had her surgery. I believe she did it yesterday. Um, so she doesn't post anything good on, on YouTube. So we have to go for a mixture of Instagram and TikTok to get an update on her. But I'm willing to do the hard legwork for you guys and put it all in one place so you don't have to, I don't know, go on an unfund Easter egg hunt to get information on our favorite, second favorite, third favorite girl. Not sure where she sits in girl world yet. But um, also, I want to do a reaction to her latest haul. But before we get into that, let's take a quick peek at what she's got on Instagram and TikTok and see how our girl's doing. All right, so here we're going to start with Instagram. Um, some of them are the same on TikTok, but some of them were one of them is different. So we're going to stick to mostly Instagram. Um, she's getting a lot of views. Like, look, a million views, a million views. It's pretty good. Um, so let's let's open this first one, and I'm going to mute it because it's just music. So this is her Instagram. The um, the paragraphs that she writes here, I believe, are the same thing that I read last time we did an update. Um, so it's come to my attention, though, that she probably got the surgery for free, which is fine. I mean, listen, she gets cruises, she gets trips. Great. It's her business. She has to disclose that if that's true. So just saying, you know. All right. Let's see what else she's got. So this is just, um, <laughs> this is just her being goofy at surgery. She had to wear the glasses. So yeah, nothing much to see here. It's just music. I'm not sure what this is all about. Uh, I'm, I just don't know. And then let's pop over to TikTok because this one actually has speaking. Hi, my name's Anna and I have lipedema and tomorrow I'm having lipedema removal surgery and I'm going to my pre-op appointment right now. So let's go. It, she's co totally like bipolar, guys. Like, I, well, I don't know if she's bipolar, but she's so happy. She's like never just regular. It's, like, it's always one end or the other. And yes, I have a thong on and yes, I hate it. That's getting surgery, darling. <laughs> we're about to do my consult. This is Dr. Amron. He's going to be doing my surgery. Hello. So Good. we're going to go get everything ready now. Obviously, we're going to be focused on, you know, medical treatment versus a vlog. <laughs> this is my plastic. He's cute. I guess my plastic surgeon. Yes. Dr. Mos Rafi. He's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Tell the latest, are you single? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Now we are taking photos so we can see how my body Yeah, I think that's normal for everybody. And after the various surgeries I'm going to have, so that is what this is. And that's a the thong. last part of my pre-op prep, which is signing off on my surgery. Mm -hmm. This is Evelyn, and we're going to go do that now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for surgery. Hi. All right. Hi, my name is Anna, and if you're new here, I have a condition called... Lip this is... um. The day of surgery so you'd think she'd wash her hair well maybe she will wash her hair i don't know and today i'm having removal surgery good I'm a little rough because i just woke up but my first job is to wash myself with some hippie cleanse hiba cleanse we know that well in this household not gonna say why what you need to do to prep for surgery so i'm gonna go do that and then i'm gonna show you guys my surgery fit because it's ridiculous <laughs> Yeah, they probably make her wear that in surgery so they can sort of see everything. But I would think, why not just get her naked at that point? Like, I don't know. What is that doing? Uh, 
this will be the only way I'm wearing a bikini for the rest of the summer because compression. We're here. Oh, wait a minute. That's actually sewn into her clothes. That is fucking ridiculous. That's, is it? It's embarrassing. That's an embarrassing outfit. This is my gown. And the only reason I have my underwear on is because we're filming. So when I actually get to surgery, obviously I will be naked and naked. This is the full fit. It is full. Like, there is, this is not tie in the back. <laughs> It's just not in the back. I this am. This is so out right now. I'm surprised they don't have, like, bariatric gowns. Plus, the trick is um, you actually wear two gowns. So you wear the one that opens in the back, and then they give you another to, um, like, open in the front. So this way you can walk around the um, hospital. I don't think she, she's not in a hospital, though. This looks like a... Doesn't look like a hospital. It looks like a uh, plastic surgery center or whatever. It's probably the same place she got her um, consulting. Yeah, she probably got her um, evaluation at this place. So um, it seems very outpatient to me, but let's see. I'm consenting to surgery. <laughs> see, now they put it on at the front. <laughs> So here, Dr. Amron is drawing on my marks for surgery. As you can see, we're just doing my upper outer legs and my hip shelf. For I will now. need additional surgeries in the future, but that's what we're taking on today because it's my most congested and painful area. How are you doing? I... Yeah. It seems to me they didn't put her under general. So that's interesting. <laughs> for half? Yeah. I, I like the drug. Or maybe they did. I know he doesn't need words of affirmation, but he's freaking killing it. What they're doing right now is wrapping me with... Yeah, she she's pretty awake. She looks pretty good. Adds post-surgery for my drainage. And um, this will be a lot for 24 hours, but it's okay. Because it's basically all the nasty stuff just coming out. And when it's out, I'm going to feel a lot freer and a lot better. I already feel a lot better, to be really honest, which is kind of shocking. Yeah, I was reading about it, and they give you this anesthesia that's healthier because um, when you get regular anesthesia, it sticks in your body for a few days. So this anesthesia, at least the one that I was reading, I don't think it was this doctor. I think it's the doctor I thought she was having before, but it makes you feel better. Like it's more healthy. You feel better when you get out of surgery. You don't feel groggy. So that's good. Because I literally had surgery. Um... 15 minutes ago. How am I so awake and alert? This is bananas. <laughs> Try to get just right and dirty. Try to get just right. Oh, she getting into it. <laughs> Evelyn, like a queen. Okay, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. Huh. So, yeah. Um, oh, one more thing I wanted to show you. Okay, so here is a, um, here's, more information. I love it how we have to go to different places and do an unfun Easter egg hunt. Anyways, I made it out of surgery successfully and am on the road to a healthy recovery. I had 11 and a half liters of fat removed, much of which at David Armand explained to me was so fibrotic. It was like working through cement. As a result, my surgery took a total of four hours, including prep for surgery and transfer to recovery. This morning, I am in a lot less pain and am generally kind of overwhelmed by how much better I feel. I know some of it's the anesthesia still wearing off, but I feel this is the beginning of something amazing. I also am feeling the anxiety of getting to the point of getting to this point, wash away. All right. Mm. I am also feeling the anxiety of getting to this point, wash away. And I finally feel like I'm getting to enjoy what this will actually mean for me in the long term. Yeah, good. Yep. Yay. For those wondering why I, why I am awake during the procedure, Dr. Amron uses tumescent anesthesia. That's what it is, which is a safer form of anesthesia and allows for the patient to reposition themselves during the surgery as needed. 
with this and a little twilight sedation, I was very comfortable and clearly very chatty while also alert enough to adjust my position as Dr. Amron needed. Shout out to the videographer filming this surgery for taking my phone before the operation and trusting my drug-induced creative genius when I asked her to record this. <laughs> I don't remember this happening, but I was tickled pink to find these clips on my phone this morning. I couldn't imagine a better, sillier, or truer representation of me to share that I am doing well and excited for the next chapter of my story. Yeah, it's positive. Well, good for her. I hope she really, um, you know, does the work she's is needed afterwards and doesn't think, well, I got the surgery. My work here is done. You know, the, the plastic surgery, so I don't think it's the actual lipedema surgery that's going to kill her. Well, not kill her, but it's the, um, the skin surgery after. It's a big procedure. Yeah, I consulted for it, and I don't have the money for it. So, I don't know. It feels like there's better ways to use my money, like putting my kids through college and worrying about a body. That's maybe only going to be here for another 50 years. <laughs> uh all right, so that was the update on Anna. I'm glad she's doing well. I'm very interested to see how the surgery turns out for her because, again, you know, and maybe this is the reason why she's uploading it. If she does well, then, you know, maybe I will think about it and other people will too because, um, you know, my lipidema is different than her. I don't, I don't have that hip shelf. Um, I have more of the, like, lower legs and thighs. So, um, anyways, but what I, what we're really gathered here for today is to look at her latest haul. Now I'm assuming this was filmed a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, it's probably weeks ago. So she is doing a try on haul of sugar lips, which I've never heard of, but I believe it's a, a plus size only brand. Um, so at first glance to me, it looks like Lily Pulitzer went a little psychedelic. I, I don't know. It's like Lily Pulitzer, but extremely 10 times as bright. So not everybody knows I am an actual Lily Pulitzer, like ridiculous freak. So my watch band, Lily Pulitzer, my kids got this for me. This is my iPod case. It's Lily Pulitzer kind of matches. It's a different print, um, but it does match the purse that I use. <laughs> And it's a belted purse. And as you're going to see, uh, Anna wear hers. I, I don't usually wear it. I don't wear it around my waist. I just wear it crossbody because it's nice because you can get what you need right here. So let me show you my dress though. This is a um, actual Lily Pulitzer purchased at the Breakers Hotel in Palm Beach. Now, I'm not fancy at all. Oh, and by the way, the main Lily Pulitzer store is on Worth Avenue, which is a couple blocks away from the Breakers Hotel. So my husband used to work there. So he, at the end of the season, what they would do is get the dresses that they wanted to get rid of and clear them out and have a special sale just for the employees. So um, then he would still get his employee discount. So like a $400 dress might have cost him like $75. So I'm not that fancy, guys, but... Oh, I did want to show you the dress. All right, so it's super short. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but um, this is a, a pattern, and I wanted to show you this. This is Lily's thing. She loves zippers, right? And I love this little detail up here. So anyways, that's one of my Lilies in the more classic patterns. I am definitely going to take this off soon because... Um, it's 4th of July. I'm not going to wear this all day. I do have sort of a beachier dress that I'm probably going to put on, but I wanted to put this one on because this is more the classic Lily. So without further ado, let's see what Sugar Lips does for Miss Anna O'Brien pre-lymphedema surgery. On my cruise, I wore a dress that y'all loved. It was a red and pink floral off the shoulder. Number. I don't Actually, remember you can this. see it oh. right here. Oh, okay. And that was the first time I'd ever purchased from that brand, which was called Sugar Lips. And I... 
Yeah, so that's what I mean. That fanny pack, I don't understand why she's wearing it. I, I don't. To me, that means like, all right, I need to go somewhere and I want my personal items right close to me. I, I don't know why she's wearing it. It's To me, that's not a fashion statement. To me, that looks ridiculous. I loved that dress so much that I decided that I needed to do a full haul. I wonder if she got that shirt from this company. Um... By the way, we just did the update of her surgery. They didn't do anything on her arms yet, now did they? I don't know if they will, but those arms right there, the uh, sleeves, they're, they're crying for mercy, aren't they? Paul from them. I haven't worn a lot of their pieces, so I don't know exactly how they fit for my body. So we're kind of experiencing this brand together for the first time. So with that, let's go. Oh, spoiler alert. I watched this. Most of them don't fit into it and by the way guys this might be the most colorful haul i've ever had because yeah. their dresses are so uh, yeah they're outright like i said they're lily but 10 times brighter so bright i'm obsessed i'm gonna check the prices after um i hope they're not as expensive as lily okay without further ado let's actually get into it so first up, we have a two-piece set that i'm obsessed with hey. i think it is just so incredibly unique <laughs> so Right off the bat, it's not that I don't like the colors. I guess the colors are okay, but I don't like... So that lighter color, you have the turquoise, you have the pink purple, then you have the turquoise again, and then you have the pink purple. Um, it accentuates right where you don't want it to accentuate. So, and, I mean, I don't even know where to start here. First... I love pattern clashing. They're very similar. Yeah, Rick Rack. This, the yellow, reminds me of um, a kid. Reminds me of when I was a kid and we used to always get homemade Halloween costumes. They always had some form of Rick Rack in it. Patterns. Actually, they might be the same pattern in different colors. And then it's separated by this gorgeous Rick Rack. And I will tell you, normally I look at Rick Rack and I go crafty, tacky. No. Yeah, I think a childhood. I think it's cute. But this is done in such a fun way that just kind that of. That dress tacky? Ah. Blends seamlessly with a skirt design that low key I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. This skirt is so, making me love Rick Rack. It's also too tight here in the sort of midsection. You see how it's doesn't fit her back which is something I, I mean that actually looks uncomfortable never thought i would say but here we are you know what things can surprise you oh it's now, two pieces with it they have a top in one of the fabrics that's used in the skirt the bright pink and then they do have a little contrasting here at the sleeve with again that rick rack this is so fun this is giving me you know that might look cute with like a black pants or something you know, some black um, capri style pants. That would probably be cute. I'd never wear it, but you know, I, I, I like color. What can I say? Island vibes, right? This is perfect for like a cruise or a beach vacation to the Bahamas, but definitely summer, summer, summer. So it's like uh, if I were her, I'd only wear it on a cruise because I'd want people to stare. <laughs> That's what you're going to get if you wear this on a cruise is people are going to stare. Oh, so strong for that. And I just think it's so cute and also stretchy. Again, so you don't have to wear a bra if you don't want to, which... Viewers of mine, wear a bra. Unless you're, you know, perky, 18 years old. Let's say you've had the, uh, you know, boob bobs. I don't know what they're called, but um, I'd love to get that right now. Um, <laughs> wear a bra, okay? Wear a bra. We love hair glitter and lasers. I also really like that the arm has a lot of stretch to it too. As I have bigger arms, I genuinely look for this in a garment. So seeing that with this garment made me really happy. Overall, this is a burst of color and it's really refreshing. I haven't really a seen a lot like it out there. So a pop of color all over your body. Oh, this, this is amazing. We are off to a very good start. Um, the twirl potential in this is it's fantastic. I really love the colors, the print. I love the little Rick Rack. That's what this stuff is called. This this is giving island vibes. This is giving margarita in one hand. This is giving take me to the dance floor. This is giving mm, vacation. I love it. 
when I said this brand was colorful, I was not lying. Like literally every single piece we have, except for like one, is very, very bright and bold. This it's print, pink. Oh, it's like all my yeah. favorite colors in one print. That seriously doesn't fit her. Literally, I love the apple Yikes. green. I love the cerulean, the pinks, the cerulean. light pink, the orange, like my ideal That's color palette. Word. We've got some- And then she just showed that. Why the fuck didn't she steam that garment? I, it's the little things, guys, the little things. That, then I'm perfect, but I don't know. But I'm also not a fashion vlogger now, am I? Ruffled sleeves here and they're double ruffled. So you have a little bit more volume. Yeah, I think that draws attention to big arms, but what do I know? And it goes down to more of a straight cut, or actually more of an A-line, ties at the waist with a little tie. And those buttons are begging for mercy, aren't they? And then some ruffles at the bottom. This is a cotton fabric, so it's going to be really, really good for summer. It's going to hold you sweat don't see cotton better much. than other garments. And when I say hold sweat, it's not going to hold sweat. It's going to evaporate that sweat and it's going to be breathable. So I really love cotton and prefer cotton and linen and things like that. Actually, I never thought I would say linen, but I just found linen that I like. But she liked it because she tie dyed it. And in the process, she shrank it because linen's picky. But it's just better for breathability and, you know, to keep your body a little bit fresher because synthetics can, well, they can cause some issues in the nether regions, which is none of us want that during the summer. No. Why? You don't like yeast infections? None of us want that. I said that out if loud. If you are not pear sized or super pear, honestly, I think a normal pear size would be fine in this. I just. Well, it might be okay in about three sizes bigger, but I have a feeling that that's the biggest size of that dress. I just got a lot of junk back there. Um, this dress is fantastic. It's very comfortable. And then there's pockets and you can tell that there's pockets because they bulge out, which is why a lot of women's dresses don't have pockets because it's like, hey, look at me, look at me. Talking about her mid-region. Well, my only thing that I don't love, and I love pointing out the things I don't love so you can make smarter decisions. It doesn't fit. This, I think something's no, a little wrong up here. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's too much volume or maybe it's just the way they're lying. I just, I don't love it, but I love the print. I do know that they make like the same print in various different dress styles. So I might try this print in a different dress style, but it is very comfortable. I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Do you guys like this? No. Do you like the ruffle shoulders or, or is it giving no. too much? It's the whole thing. That belt does nothing for her. It's just way too tight. It looks very like it's going to pop. Or is there ever such a thing as too much? Hmm. Yeah. Let me know in the comments. Too much. Again, with that bold color palette, I'm loving Ooh. the red and the pink. Holy shit. Together. Again, that super You guys don't mind. I'm blocking her, you? Obviously, you can tell these are from the same collection. Okay. So who's who here has ever seen Steel Magnolias? Okay. It's an older movie. I think it came out. I want to say in the 80s, maybe late 80s, early 90s, somewhere in the 90s. I don't know. But there is a, a scene at the wedding where, and now the girls at the, in Steel Magnolias are very catty. And that's how, unfortunately, a lot of women are. But um, they're talking about this woman who's dancing at the wedding, you know, music pop into it. And um, they were saying how she was very wealthy and you know, that dress was probably, you know, a couple hundred dollars and she couldn't afford some decent shapewear. And they were like, it looks like two pigs fighting under a blanket. I bet you money she's paid $500 for that dress and don't even bother to wear a girdle. Looks like two pigs fighting under a blanket. <laughs> well, I haven't left the house without lycra on these thighs since I was 14. You were brought up right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what this looks like. This is a bit of a, um, yeah, larger print, buzz, which I think is tends to... Buttons aren't going to do anything for her. And again, come on, Anna, steam your fucking clothes. A little bit better for bigger bodies. I like to say that, like, the print size should match. Uh, it, that goes from my retail days. So I did work at Eddie Bauer for a bit, too. And we didn't display anything unless it was perfectly steamed. So I say that. That's why your I say that. body size? Not because one is better or worse and makes you look more flattering. I just think it like proportions, right? So I tend to like to wear bigger prints because I feel like it just works for my body better. No. We've got a little bit of an elastic waist here. I love that these buttons down the front Two pigs fighting are under alternating a colors. I think that's such a fun detail. And it's kind of done like somebody just randomly, you know, picked a button 
out of the bag and whatever one came up is the one they sewed on. That's fun to me. It feels a little reckless. It feels slightly off, but I, oh, I love it. We have a ruffle down here and it is like, you can unbutton this. Like this is a fully unbuttonable dress. It's not sewn down the center. So it does allow a little bit of playing in terms yeah, of how you Yeah, it's going to allow it. a little bit of popping. And it is a midi length dress. Also, the sleeves are a little bit more fluttery. Again, great for those of us with bigger arms. Okay, I love the print again, but the fit is just not right. Doesn't fit. Um, again, it's my hips. It's a little tight in the hips and because Her it's belly. so flowy. He it's not just your hips, it's your belly. So like after she gets the surgery, this part here that comes out a little bit, yeah, that will be better, but she's still going to have all this in her center until she gets another. She's going to need a lot of surgeries. Here and then comes out to being tight at the hips. It just doesn't, it doesn't work for my body type and I'm mad about it because it's so cute. It's too small, Anna. It's too small. They don't have your size. Thank you. One thing I wanted to point out is this one does have pockets, yeah. which makes it superior. No. Um, but sadly, yeah, it just doesn't work for What me. are you going to put in those pockets? It's so fucking tight. You could barely get your hands into them. But if you are not pear-shaped, please check this dress out because it's super cute. And it's really well made. Now we get into this dress that I feel like this color palette will work for literally any skin I tone. like it. Um, Again, got some double rough. See, another one. My God, they don't have your size, Anna. Full sleeves. These are a little bit further out. Honestly, I think they're going to look a bit better than the other ones. We do have some smocking here, which is going to be very, very Again, comfortable. Steam. Comes down more of a straight. A Does she have a, a PO box? Let's bring her. Let's get her a steamer. A line with a bit of a pocket and a ruffle. No, yeah, a slight ruffle. It's not really a ruffle. It's not like a ruffle. It's like a ruffle. It's a ruffle. That a ruffle. whispered ruffle at the <laughs> whispered ruffle. Oh my god! And if she mentions she doesn't have to wear a bra, I might my head might explode because it's smacking. <laughs> Don't save that in the fashion vernacular. The world does not need a whispered ruffle. But I love the little ruffle details here as well. Again, this print is super fun. And this to me, because of all of this smocking up here, is just going to be really comfortable. So here's the other thing. Like if I were a fashion vlogger, and I think others do this, not really so much the plus size people, because I think they get, they get, I don't know why they don't do this. They never wear the right underwear. Okay. So if I were doing straight fashion, like today, I put on the right bra for this dress. Like, uh, you know, you look in the fucking mirror. Again, it's in a cotton fabric, so it's going to be very breathable. Like even when you go to try on things, always wear the undergarments that you would be wearing. You know, I mean, yes, we've all gone impromptu shopping, but if you're looking for something specific, wear the undergarments, okay? So you can get a fresh idea. Candidly, looking at all these dresses, real they're really well made. And I'm mad I didn't know about this brand sooner because it is loud, just as loud as I am. Mm. And I'm obsessed. Even the pattern is stretching on her belly. Obsessed with it. Like, literally. And it's funny because the smocking looks like it's loose. I don't know. I feel like I found a brand that really represents me. It looks like me. This clothing looks like me. It just does. Too tight and loud. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Again. Look at the pocket. Totally and completely obsessed with the print. I think it honestly is one of the, my favorites for my skin tone. Um, it is again a little tight. Not only that, a little tight. <laughs> it's a little tight. I don't like this area. I don't think that this this is flattering for her at all. Hips, but I think if I threw on some shapewear and maybe just See, that's what I mean. Why didn't you start this with shapewear? You know, is this your first time doing a try on haul? Right for a little bit, it would fit perfectly fine. So I'm not as worried about it as I've been with the other dresses because this is more of like a cotton, which tends to stretch when you wear it for a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Very high quality, very comfortable. And again, the prints, the prints from this brand are second to none, like literally second to none. Ah. If you've been here a while, you know I love red and pink. You just no, know I love pretty. it. And I do. This is I a, actually really like that color combo. I would wear that. Very similar. Maybe dress. not. It is an all-over dress. Pattern-wise, so the one. I okay, so this fits her, and this looks great on her. I wore on the cruise, but it is a bit different. It's a bit shinier and bolder. We've got some tie tops here. I don't like the back because it does accentuate her back fat a little. Well, a lot. You shouldn't see that in a dress. 
a bikini is one thing, but a dress is another. But I'm glad that one's nice and flowy on her. And I Pretty. don't love satin. I don't love a satin finish. It's just something that tends to show a That's lot. A and I finish. tend to be a very messy either. So I try to avoid things that will, you know, show off that. <laughs> <laughs> we have a pretty tight bodice here with virtually no stretch. I'm yeah, I actually really like that. A little worried because sometimes these work for me, sometimes they don't. But it does give a quite generous skirt, which I think is going to work mm -hmm. really great with my hips. Yeah. It's going to allow me to feel comfortable while still giving me more of like a fitted bodice. Uh, this is very lightweight. I actually like what she has underneath um, because otherwise, if she wasn't wearing whatever it is she's wearing, it would be too close cut. Honestly, oh, I love the flow of this. I just love the way this fabric moves, even though I hate the fact that like one teensy bit of oil, you put the wrong hand cream on and you're screwed. I, I just, okay. I mean, I don't know. Do you guys see it? Though, oh, pro tip. If you do get some oil on a dress like this, on a satin finished dress, the easiest way to get rid of it, and this is like changed my life and knowing it again, because I am a cereal spiller. Both I spill cereal and I spills frequently. <laughs> both of them um you can use setting powder and it will suck the oil out of the dress honestly I wouldn't use setting powder unless it's clear i just use baby powder i mean is baby powder still legal maybe not but um i would use baby powder so you just put it on let it sit brush it away the oil's gone like seriously blew my mind changed my life Okay, so I am low-key obsessed with this it's color cute. combo. I will say definitely not the right bra. Why? But, you know, that can be fixed. I love oh, this. Yeah, but if you have to keep pulling it down, it doesn't fit. I just love it. And it's so flowy and comfortable. It's pretty. Ah, like, you can wear shorts underneath it. No one would know. Just like my favorite thing. It could be a tad longer for her. Um, it's not exactly a maxi, but it's fine. <laughs> Literally every dress I have on, I've got bike shorts on underneath. The colors, guys, the colors just keep coming. Um, this is just oh wow, so it doesn't fit, but it is a pretty color. I uh, know, yeah, yeah, love it, love the color. Insane, I love it. Um, here's why Holy I like shit, it. Does it not fit? And what is with them? Like that's the second dress that had that bottom where the like the hem comes out so like you could see your inner thighs if you really wanted. This print, if done in any other colors, would be quite, I don't know, boring, maybe a little bit mousy, but done in a hot pink and a bright That's orange pretty. and yellow, it's it feels naughty. And I love that like, it's a grandma floral, but it's also like these wild colors that your grandmother would never wear. And that is me. I don't know. I'm. A My grandmother bit. was, you know, a creature of the 70s, both of them. Some pictures, some interesting pictures of things they wore. Old school, but at the heart of me, I'm a little bit loud and wild. And oh, no. just perfect. This has one. Yeah, more. I don't like that slit. I, I don't like that. I My eyes are drawn to it, which is good because it's drawn away from the tightness of the midsection. I mean, in this photo... In this photo, this still, <laughs> Anna has more of a baby bump than Alex, okay? And we'll, we'll circle back to Alex today. Actually, this video will probably go out after Alex, but uh, yeah. Elastic sleeve. I know we looked at a dress made of like a similar kind of gossamer -y fabric that was not gossamer. <laughs> Where did that word come from? But more of like a, I don't know what's... I guess this is viscose fabric um, earlier that was like a bolder print and it had like uh, fluttery sleeves. This has more of, you know, a puff sleeve. Again, a lot of stretch in that arm. Yeah. Now that she says that, it's she's not getting that effect. And it looks like when she takes this dress off, she's going to have a mark from those sleeves. Right? But it does, similar to that dress, have the buttons down the front. But this has a three tier and it's much longer. Um, yeah. Those never fit this her. One. I think it's going to look really cool. It reminds me of this artist in New York um, that paints over like old art with like fun phrases and neons. No, oh, that's terrible. Often, like, Could you imagine being the artist? Oh, it's old. Let's paint over it because we're a dick. I, I don't like that. That. Okay, fine. 
set the motifs play, like this. Yeah. So it just it felt again very me. And that's great. That's what we want. That's what we want when we're trying on fashion. Okay, I love the print of this, but it's like a little bit tight, a little bit at this hip region, which is like often a problem with me because of my, you know, pear shape and the fact that I have lipedema. So it's not, I don't want to say it's abnormal, but it is. It's abnormally shaped. Unless you have lipedema, then it's incredibly normal. But um, I'm obsessed with the print. So I'm kind of bummed that this doesn't work because well, keep it. Maybe I don't know. These colors just some weight. scream happiness. And, I and the funny thing is, guys, keep in mind she's lost a hundred pounds from when she started this whole health journey. She wouldn't have even been able to touch this brand two years ago. Love it. That orange is my favorite color, and then it's like the hot pink. <sighs> I am. I'm a little sad about it. I'm not going to lie. Our last dress, I can't even believe it's from the same brand, but it's so iconic that I felt it also needed to be in this haul. It's pretty. Because when I saw it, I was like, this dress is... Well, it's not pink. They can, like, Lily doesn't have everything this color. This dress is special. Yes. The fabric is a little bit quieter, but look at the drama like a... of the sleeves on this. I don't even know if it's like... Like doing this when i saw it on the model are those flowers or is that like i don't know maybe she'll show us I was like this is like rich girl at the oh yeah it's like a toil yeah the hamptons she wants yeah. to be oh, seen I like that. but mm -hmm. she's also I'd wear that. fitting in she's not going too far i think this is so cool this is again cotton pocket super comfortable this is a dress you could wear all day every day but it's just a statement like these sleeves i would buy these sleeves in every print and every style <laughs> Like, literally, if there's one thing I'm obsessed with, it's these sleeves. I hope they look as good on as they look here. And I love how the ruffle, like, comes over the bust region and kind of adds the depth. And it also does that as well in the back. I'm really trying to show you these because they're what drew me to the dress. The I print is like really cool, too. It's like a close-up kind of, like, twall. But this feels more like a twall of New York. Oh, it's twall. Um, which is kind of what you call this blue scenic drawing. <laughs> But this, this dress is dope. This dress is dope. And again, you don't always have to be loud and colorful. Sometimes I just want to be demure and special. And that's what I feel like this, this little number is. This dress is giving Europe. This is giving expensive so vacation. This is giving bougie. Oh, who summers in France? Not me, but I look like it in this dress. <laughs> Ooh. This might be my favorite, which is weird for me to say because it's the least colorful. But again, still a phenomenal print. And the cut for me just fits absolutely perfect and has pockets. So win, 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 win. It doesn't fit her. Okay, here is my thoughts on sugar lips. I have a little room I need to lose in my hips to be able to fit all of their dresses perfectly. Yes. But... When their dresses work for me, they like really work for me. Like they are phenomenal. I think their dresses are special and I think they're super <sighs> unique. And honestly, I'm just not seeing stuff like this in other plus brands. And I'm so excited I get to share this with you because normally I, I find new brands and there's like a couple good things, right? I don't usually find new brands and I'm like, whoa, I wish I'd known about them forever. And that's how I feel about this brand. Um, I can't are wait to try jeans? more. I have a little bit more. No yeah, those are jeans she's wearing. And that, to me, those jeans, I hate the pleating. It reminds me of the 80s where we all wore those. Are the worse. The 90s with the Z Cavariccis. Z Cavariccis was 10 times worse. But the pleats look good on no one. Knowledge about what will and will not work for me in the future. So I'll be smarter about shopping. But like, so impressed. Quality is great. Patterns are great. Fit is is pretty good. Like again, I tend to have much bigger hips than the average person. So when something doesn't fit me in the hips, it's probably gonna fit most people really well in the hips that aren't me. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm gonna go to their site now and check out more. Uh shocker that the calmest print was my favorite dress. But the sleeves. How could you hate those sleeves, right? They were the best. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I really enjoyed making this one. I think because I'm so excited about this brand. Um, I think she's just a little high. Um, yeah. <laughs> On I'll one, I'm not sure. Right All right. Let's see if there's anything to see here. Love, love, love.
gorgeous surgery. She should take it to Paris. I'm surprised she doesn't get a free trip to Paris. Why not? Everybody's wishing her a happy surgery. These are very moderated content comments. Everything's positive, which is good. Once in a while, it's nice to have only positive. I mean, it wasn't a bad video, but let's see real quick. Let's look at the blue and white one. Eek. Oof. Look at how this is supposed to look. Hey, sugar. Let's see. They have Oh, they have regular sizes too, but they only go up to 3X. Oh, look. This dress has different colors. Ooh. Yeah, I, I hate the top. Ugh. I don't like that. To me, it looks like it's going to fly up in her face. Um, I, I do like the tole, toile, toile. What did she call it? I called it toile. I don't know. Um, but yeah. It's big, you know, like guys, there was a period of time when I was working. Like, actually, I'm working now. But going in the office, uh, $100 wouldn't be so bad. I would never wear this to the office. But... Um, I'm not willing to pay $100 for a dress anymore because I don't go anywhere. Yeah. Wow, these really don't fit her, do they? 95. Yeah. I mean, it was tight here on her, so I don't know. All right, guys. Well, that was Anna's update and latest haul. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. That is all I have for you today on Anna. We'll see you in a few minutes for Alex or you saw me in Alex on 4th of July, maybe. I, what, what? What did I just say? I don't know. I keep screwing up my closings. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!